Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 9.15 and today is Wednesday, December 28th. Down here it's kind of cold. It's about 50, give or take a little. That'll tell you the humidity too, 50% humidity. About 45 on that one. Anyway, so it's chilly down here. Obviously I managed to get to the basement my wife is at her own doctor's appointments, so I came downstairs. Um, I'm expecting a visiting nurse today and actually a physical therapist. So I figured while I'm waiting for them, I might as well be in the downstairs horde playing about. You know, worse comes to worse, I left the front door unlocked. Um, and I have a telephone with me, so if anything bad does happen down here, I could call for help. But I don't anticipate that, to be honest with you. This cane has become more of a nuisance than a help. I keep losing it. As a matter of fact, let me leave it here. All right, guys. If I can't find it later, you can tell me where I left it. All right? There you go. So, here I am in the downstairs ward. I just wanted to uh, show you guys one of the interesting bikes. I had bought this, oh God, the flea market I bought it at closed in 1991. That was in Maybrook, New York, out near, kind of near Middletown, between Newburgh and Middletown on Route 84. So that place closed in 91, so I bought it before then. I, if I got it, I don't know, if I got it in the mid-80s, that means I've owned this bike 30 years. I don't think I've owned it that long, but let's make it 25 just just for a number. So, um, and the reason why I'm showing it to you, uh, Musty One had one of these wide tire ones, and I thought it was cool. So, there it is. You can see it's got the big tire on the front. And the back. Um, the motor, it came without a motor. It had no motor. So I put a Honda motor on it. Of course, right? What else am I going to put on it? Here, as a matter of fact, let me get a... Um, let me get a flashlight. Oh, wait a minute. I saw one, and it's right here. Okay, I like these LED ones. Anyhow, so there's the motor on it. Excuse the limping. Um, I actually spent some time, you could see I put that bracket, that, this thing, here. I guess I can point at it. See this bar here to kind of put the engine on there. So that's the mounting. And there's the engine. And I used the original cradle. You can see the uh, bent bars, these things, and I did bolt them up on top there. So the engine um, bolts to the bottom of those, um, kind of the foot pegs, the cradle and all bolt to the bottom of the engine, and you can see the engines attached in the back. These engines don't have all that much horsepower. You're looking at maybe 10 horsepower. So I've had no no problems with it breaking loose. Um, this engine has the traditional points and um, uh, condenser battery um, needs 12 volts to run type ignition. So I just borrowed all that from the other bike. Though you can see a bunch of wiring here. I left the old wiring in. Now I believe, and I don't know. So I can't, I can't be positive when I tell you this, but um, I believe, and that's how many miles that were on it. I don't know, could you guys see that? Yeah, 5,000 miles or so. Still has the headlight. Um, I think I stole the controls. Yeah, I think I stole the controls from the Honda. I don't have the key. 
you can see at one point it was inspected. There was an inspection sticker here. I can't quite read that. Um, just for some of the other stuff that's on it. That's what the back of it says. I don't know, once again, if it's going to focus, if you guys could... Maybe from some of this information we could figure out what year it was. I did notice somewhere it said something about being in um, an RE or an RV90. Once again, I think it's a Suzuki. I'm not positive. Here, let me flip it this way. Nope. I just turned the phone on or off or something. Missed call. That ain't good. That might be the uh, nurse trying to get in touch with me, so I probably should make this quick. There's what the other tag says here. Let me uh, try to get this so that you guys can see it. So, kind of a cool bike. Um, I put it together. I mean, excuse the really lousy camera work. But um, I put it together quite a while ago. And check the zoom in, zoom out. Okay. I put it together quite a while ago. And. You guys could see the cradle, where the points would be. You could see the uh, carb, the big green air filter sticking out the front. The uh, air filter doubles as the front fender. You can see where I put the coil, right there. More of the motor. It's got the, um, actually, it does not have the high load transmission, but you can see the scooter, you know, the front and back. Basically, the engine was able to swap right onto it. The back end of it, the back fender. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall off the top of my head what year it is, but for some reason, I'm thinking 1974. Once again, excuse the bad camera work. I was able to put the same exact exhaust system in. Actually, that's not too bad. You guys could see most of it if I slowly scan. So I believe this is a Suzuki. I believe it is a Suzuki RT or RV90. And I believe it's a 73 or a 74. So it's an old timer. Once again, I got it without the engine. So what I did is I hacked that Honda 90 scooter engine on. You guys are familiar with the Honda 90 scooter. Just quickly, let me show you that while I get the camera running. See what I mean about this cane? Everywhere I go, it's like in the way. Once again, when I lose it, you guys got to tell me where I put it. About my hip as I hop about. It's, um, it's doing... This is the back of one of those Honda... There you go. Honda scooter things. You can see. It's kind of like a girl's bicycle. And you can see the motor down there the shocks so yeah I bought this one a long time ago I never did anything with it the deal was right I think I picked it up for 25 bucks it's got something wrong you could see the very slightly there if you go through where the his and hers transmission kind of has a bit of an issue let me show you that see where they kind of took it apart in there so that's just a quick 
video of my fat, fat tired bike. So, um, you know what? While I'm down here, maybe I'll shoot another quick one. This is 10 minutes. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to shoot another one. What the heck? Folks, thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, remember, tires down, track down, handlebars up. And uh, we'll see you all soon.